بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محب اللہ وزیر وی وار ڈسکسنگ دی بلڈ سپلائی آف دا برین اینڈ ان ریلیشن ٹو دیٹ وی ڈسکس واٹ ول بی دا افیکٹ ایف اینی آف دا آرفی از بینگ بلاکڈ اور تھرمبوسٹ اینڈ واٹ ول بی دا افیکٹ ان دا پیشنٹ الائٹ نو keeping in view the blood supply of the first and second lecture of the brain you look this is the superior lateral surface and this is the middle cerebral artery if this middle cerebral artery is being blocked you know it supplies over here the sincero motor cortex of contra lateral side That's why if this artery is blocked, there will be contralateral hemiplegia. And if the blockage is on the left side, then there will be contralateral hemiplegia with aphasia as well because the speech area will also be affected. The patient won't be able to talk. But note the point that the leg, perineum and foot area will be, may, may not be involved in this occlusion. And then the second is the anterior cerebral artery which is also branch of the internal carotid artery and if this anterior cerebral artery is being blocked the effect will be again the contralateral hemiplegia especially involving the foot leg and perineal area including the defecation and maturation reflex as well that will also be affected and then the third is the posterior cerebral artery which is the branch of the basal artery and supplying this occipital lobe this is, is if being affected the blood supply the effect will be the contralateral the, the effect will be the hemi anopia that is half of the field of vision will be affected and in this way it will be if the, this if the occipital lobe is completely damaged then the blindness may occur and that will be then will be called as cortical blindness that is the eye is all right the optic trait is all right but the visual area at area occipital lobe is being affected and then if the internal carotid artery as a whole is blocked due to thrombosis or some other reason then you know that both the anterior and middle cerebral arteries these both are the branches of the internal carotid artery so there will be a contralateral hemiplegia and if the left and if on the left side then there will be the aphasia as well and then the internal carotid also give branch the artery of thalamic artery which supplies the retina so there will be a hemi anopia as well this is the typical characteristic effect of the blockage of internal carotid artery that hemi anopia and that contralateral hemiplegia and and, the, and the, this will be the effect of and if there is on the left side the speech area may also be affected these were the effects in brief that you will see in your patients and then you will think about the diagnosis that which artery is being affected and the, 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 the symptoms and signs which you see in your patient and it will help you in diagnosis because of this knowledge. Thank you very much.